Namaste. Welcome to the eighth episode of Stamp Tourism. Today's Stamp Tourism video is about Delhi. Delhi is the capital of the world's largest democracy and is the seat of three branches of the government of India: the legislature, the executive, and the judiciary. The foundation stone of New Delhi was laid by Emperor King George V during the Delhi Darbar of 1911. It was designed by the British architect Sir Edwin Lutyen and Sir Herbert Baker. The new capital city was inaugurated on 13th February 1931 by the Viceroy and the Governor General of India Lord Irwin. There are about 40 plus stamps released by the government of India which has images of famous landmarks in Delhi. Along with the stamps of famous tourist destinations in Delhi, this video will cover some of the non-tourist destinations as well. This video will be lengthy, but it will be filled with some historic details of each of the tourist destinations of Delhi. So let's go to the stamps of Delhi. The first stamp on Delhi was released on 9th February 1931. The stamp was issued to commemorate the change of seat of the government from Calcutta to New Delhi. The stamp features famous landscape of the city like purana kila war memorial council house viceroy's house secretariat and an image of king george v overlaying the secretariat now the council house is known as the parliament house the war memorial arch is known as the india gate and the viceroy house is known as the rashtrapati bhavan this was the first commemorative issue from the british india The next stamp on Delhi was released on 15th August 1949. It was a commemorative postage stamp on Red Fort. Red Fort is the largest monument in Delhi and it was constructed by the Mughal emperor Shah Jahan in the year 1639. It took 10 years to complete the construction of Red Fort. Red Fort was actually white in color as it was made of limestone and when the limestone started clipping off British painted it with red color and hence the name Red Fort. The Red Fort is octagonal in shape. The Kohinoor diamond which is now in the crown of Queen Elizabeth was once embedded in the throne of Shah Jahan in Red Fort. In 2007, UNESCO named Red Fort as the World Heritage Site. Stamps of Red Fort was covered in the third episode of Stamp Tourism. So, I will not be covering those stamps in this video. The next stamp on Delhi was released on 26th January 1975. It was a commemorative postage stamp on the 25th anniversary of the Republic of India. The stamp depicts an architectural drawing of a portion of the Parliament House. The color of the stamp was blue, black and silver. It was printed at the India Security Press and has a value of 25 paise. Moving to 1981 the next stamp on Delhi was released on 1st February 1981 it was a commemorative postage stamp on St Stephen's College in Delhi St Stephen's College in Delhi was founded on 1st February 1881 by a Christian mission from Cambridge in England the stamp was issued to commemorate the centenary of St Stephen's College the value of the stamp was 35 paise and the color of the stamp was scarlet color The stamp was printed at the India Security Press in Nashik. To commemorate the 9th Asian Games in 1982, India Post and Telegraph Department released a series of stamps in 1981. The first set of stamp was released on 28th July and one stamp in the set was having an image of Jandar Mandar in Delhi. Second issue was released on 19th November 1981 and it has an image of the Indraprastha Stadium or the National Stadium at Rajkot in Delhi. National Stadium was the venue of badminton gymnastics and volleyball of the 9th Asian Games. The third issue was released on 30th December and it has an image of the Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium in Delhi. Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium in Delhi was the venue for sports like football and athletics. and it was also the venue of the opening and the closing ceremony of the 9th asian games the value of all the stamps was 1 rupee the next stamp on delhi was released on 25th november 1985 it was a commemorative postage stamp on st stephen's hospital in delhi the stamp was released as part of the centenary celebration and the value of the stamp was 1 rupees 
In the year 1987, four stamps were released as part of the India 89 World Philatelic Exhibition. The first stamp has an image of the iron pillar in Delhi and the value of the stamp was 60 paise. The iron pillar is one of the world's foremost metallurgical curiosities. The 7.21 meter high pillar weighing more than 6 tons was originally erected by Chandragupta II in front of a Vishnu temple complex at Udayagiri around 402 AD. The pillar has inscriptions in Sanskrit and Brahmi script dating back to the 4th century AD. The second stamp has an image of India Gate in New Delhi and the value of the stamp was 1 rupees 50 paise. India Gate is a war memorial at New Delhi. It stands as a memorial to 70,000 soldiers of the British Indian Army who died in between the 1914 and 1921 in the First World War. Amar Jawan Jodi is located under India Gate at Rajpat in New Delhi. Amar Jawan Jodi is an Indian memorial constructed after the Indo-Pakistan War of 1971 to commemorate the martyred and unknown soldiers of the Indian Armed Forces who died during the war. The memorial was constructed in December 1971 and inaugurated by Indira Gandhi in 1972. The third stamp has an image of Diwani Khas in Redford, Delhi and the value of the stamp was 5 rupees. The Diwani Khas meaning Hall of Private Audience in Persian was a chamber in the Red Fort of Delhi built in 1648. It was the location where Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan received courtiers and state guest. It was also known as Shah Mahal. The fourth stamp has an image of old fort in Delhi and the value of the stamp was 6 rupees 50 paise. Purana Kila or the old fort is the oldest fort in Delhi. The site has been continuously inhabited for 2500 years and remains dating from pre maurian period have been found from the old fort. The next stamp on Delhi was released on 10th January 1989. It was a commemorative postage stamp on the Diamond Jubilee of the Lok Sabha Secretariat. The stamp was printed at the India Security Press in Nasik and has a value of 60 paise. The next stamp on Delhi was released on 25th June 1991. It was a commemorative postage stamp on Diamond Jubilee of New Delhi. The stamp has the images of the tourist spots of Delhi such as Baha'i Temple, Old Fort and Rashtrapati Bhavan. The value of the stamp was 5 rupees and 6 rupees 50 paise. Another stamp on Delhi was released on 21st September 1991. It was a commemorative postage stamp on the 37th Commonwealth Parliamentary Conference. The stamp depicts the Parliament House alongside the emblem of the Commonwealth Parliament Association. CPA is an association of the Parliament and Provincial Legislature of the Commonwealth countries. The stamp was printed at the India Security Press in Nasik and has a value of 6 rupees 50 paise. The next stamp on Delhi was released on 17th February 1999. It was a commemorative postage stamp on Hindu College in Delhi. Till the end of 19th century, higher education was the privilege of the elite. Some prominent citizens like Rai Bahadur, Dharam Sudhagar and Sri Krishnadas Ji Guruwale decided to establish a college for the less privileged and thus Hindu college was founded in 1899. The stamp was released as part of the centenary celebration of the Hindu college. The opening ceremony of the Hindu college was performed by Pandit Madan Mohan Malavya and the value of the stamp was 3 rupees. The next stamp on Delhi was released on 26th November 1999. It was a commemorative postage stamp on Supreme Court of India. The Supreme Court of India is the highest judicial court under the Constitution of India. The stamp was released as part of the Golden Jubilee of the Supreme Court of India. The value of the stamp was 3 rupees and it was printed at the India Security Press in Nasik. Moving to 2002, the next stamp on Delhi was released on 13th May 2002. It was a commemorative postage stamp on the Golden Jubilee of the Indian Parliament. 13th May 1952 marked the beginning of a new phase in the history of independent India. It was on this day the Indian Parliament met for the first time after the general election. 13th May 2002 marked the Golden Jubilee of the Indian Parliament. 
The stamp was printed by the Calcutta Security Printers and has a value of 4 rupees. The next stamp on Delhi was released on 11th December 2003. It was a commemorative postage stamp on the 200th session of the Rajya Sabha, the upper house of the parliament. It was a multicolor stamp printed at the Calcutta Security Printers and has a value of 5 rupees. The next stamp on Delhi was released on 23rd September 2007. It was a commemorative postage stamp on the 53rd Commonwealth Parliamentary Conference. The stamp has an image of the Parliament House and the value of the stamp is 15 rupees. The stamp was printed at the Security Printing Press in Hyderabad. This is the second time a stamp was released by India Post for commemorating the CPC. The first stamp was released in 1991 to commemorate the 37th CPC which was covered in this video. Moving to 2009, India Post released a set of four commemorative postage stamps on the heritage railway stations of India, Howrah Junction, Madras Central, Mumbai CST and Old Delhi Station. The Old Delhi Railway Station was constructed in 1867. The building has several Gothic features. The two-storied building has a deep veranda on both floors and many modifications were added later. The stamp was released on 16th August 2009. The stamp was printed at the Security Printing Press in Hyderabad and has a value of 5 rupees. Coming to 2010, another stamp on Delhi was released on 5th January 2010. It was a commemorative postage stamp on 20th Conference of Speakers and Presiding Officers of the Commonwealth. The stamp has the image of the Parliament House in Delhi. The stamp was printed at the India Security Press in Nasik and the value of the stamp was 5 rupees. The next stamp on Delhi was released on 16th January 2010. It was a commemorative postage stamp on the 75th anniversary of the Reserve Bank of India. The stamp has the image of RBA office in Sunset Marg in New Delhi. The Eksha and Ekshini standing guard at the entrance of the office amalgamate India's rich mythological past. The stamp was printed at the India Security Press in Nasik and has a value of 5 rupees. Another stamp on Delhi was released on 13th May 2010. It was a commemorative postage stamp on the Postal Heritage Building. The stamp was released as part of the 2011 World Philatelic Exhibition. The first set in the series was six stamps of the Postal Heritage Building and one stamp was having an image of the Delhi GPO. Delhi GPO is one among the few buildings of India Post which has been given the status of the Heritage Building by Archaeological Survey of India. Delhi GPO is located close to the historical Red Fort and Chandini Chow. The stamp was printed at the India Security Press in Nasik and has a value of 5 rupees. Two more stamps were released by India Post in 2010 to commemorate the 19th Asian Games. The stamp has images of Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium and Talkatora Stadium in New Delhi. Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium and Talkatora Stadium in Delhi was constructed to host the 9th Asian Games in 1982. We have already covered a stamp of Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium in this video. Talkatora Indoor Stadium is a dome-shaped stadium and eco-friendly with solar lights, rainwater harvesting and wonderful green lawns. The stamps was printed at the India Security Press in Nasik and has a value of 5 rupees. In the year 2011, Rashtrapati Bhavan celebrated the 80 years of its glorious existence. The Department of Post marks this occasion by issuing a set of four commemorative stamps. The stamps was released on 5th August 2011 and it was printed at the India Security Press in Nasik. The Rashtrapati Bhavan, which was formerly known as the Viceroy's House, was conceptualized in 1911. The construction task was assigned to Sir Edwin Lutian and the construction began in 1913 and it was completed in 1929. The Rashtrapati Bhavan was commissioned in 1931. This living heritage today stands majestically as a symbol of the world's largest democracy, the Republic of India. The most outstanding feature of the building on which the national tricolor flies is the large neo-Buddhist dome that arises over the caste frontage 
which pays homage to the stupa of Sanji. The 22 meter diameter dome is covered with copper plate and has acquired a dark finish over the years. The bottom of the dome is surrounded by railings similar to the stupa of Sanji and has four octagonal kiosks towards the end of its square base. Edwin Lutian has used the Mughal jalis in stones, floral relief designs and motif from Delhi's red fort and blended them in his architectural style. It is possible to explore the Rashtrapati Bhavan for the tourists too. You have to book for this in the Rashtrapati Bhavan website. There are three different circuits in Rashtrapati Bhavan. Circuit 1 is exploring the main buildings of the Rashtrapati Bhavan. Circuit 2 is the museum and Circuit 3 is the Mughal garden. We have taken the Circuit 2 of the Rashtrapati Bhavan during our last visit to Delhi. All the details on how to book these circuits are mentioned in detail in the Rashtrapati Bhavan website. Link to the website will be added in the description of this video. The next stamp on Delhi was released on 3rd July 2013. It was a commemorative postage stamp on the Delhi Gymkhana Club. Gymkhana Club was established by the British for the use of officers of the Indian Civil Service, Armed Forces and Residents of Delhi. It was established on 3rd July 1913 as Imperial Delhi Gymkhana Club. After independence, the word Imperial was dropped. The club located in the heart of the Lutians New Delhi was constructed as per the plan made by Sir Edwin Lutian. Department of Post issued a commemorative postage stamp on the completion of the 100 years of the Delhi Gymkhana Club. The next stamp on Delhi was released on 5th December 2013. It was a commemorative postage stamp on the visit of the Emperor and Empress of Japan. It was the first time in the history of independent India that the Emperor and Empress of Japan visited India. The Department of Post commemorated the relationship between the two countries by release of souvenir sheet portraying the Kutub Minar and the Tokyo Tower. The stamp was printed a security printing press in Hyderabad and has a value of 20 rupees. Moving to 2016, the next stamp on Delhi was released on 15th August 2016. It was a commemorative postage stamp on tourism in India. The stamp has images of Kutub Minar and Red Fort in Delhi. It was printed at the security printing press in Hyderabad and has a value of 25 rupees. The next stamp on Delhi was released on 23rd September 2016. It was a commemorative postage stamp on Lady Harding Medical College. It is one of the few medical colleges in the world that is only for girls. The idea of medical college for women was formulated in the mind of Lady Harding in 1912 and the foundation stone was laid on 17th March 1914, few days before her departure for England where she died in the same year. The medical college was opened on 8th February 1916 by Lord Harding. The stamp was released as part of the centenary celebration of the Lady Harding Medical College. It was printed at the security printing press in Hyderabad and has a value of 5 rupees. In the year 2016, one more stamp was released on Akshardham Temple in New Delhi and Pramukh Swami Maharaj. The stamp was released on 7th December 2016. The Swami Narayan Akshardham in New Delhi is a breathtaking cultural complex capturing the Indian culture and heritage of India in all its grandeur and beauty. The complex is situated on the banks of river Yamuna. The mandir is a humble tribute to Bhagavan Swami Narayan. The traditionally styled complex was inaugurated on 6th November 2005 with the blessings of His Highness Pramukh Swami Maharaj. The highlight of the Swami Narayan Akshardham temple is the water show. The stamp was printed at the security printing press in Hyderabad and has a value of 15 and 5 rupees. In the year 2017, Department of Post released a commemorative postage stamp on the step wells in India. 16 step well stamps were released and 2 out of the 16 was from Delhi. They were Agrasan Ki Bavori and Dajong Ki Bavori in Delhi. Stamps was released on 29th December 2017. Agrasan Ki Bavori is a 60 meter long and 15 meter wide historical step well on Haley Road near the Connaught Place in Jandar Mandar in Delhi. 
It is believed that the step well was originally built by the King Agrasen and rebuilt in the 14th century by the Agarwal community. The step well is built with three levels and 103 steps made of red sandstone and each level had surrounding walls with carved niches. The Rajonki Bavari step well is located in the Meroli Archaeological Park in Delhi. It is believed to be built in 1506 by Daulat Khan under the patronage of Sikandar Lodi. It was called as Rajonki Bavari as it was used by the royal masons. This step well has four levels. Moving to 2018, the next stamp on Delhi was released on 27th April 2018. It was a commemorative postage stamp on Safdarjang Hospital. It is one of the major flagship hospitals of the Government of India. It is spread across 47 acres in the heart of Delhi. Citizens from different parts of the country and from neighboring countries visit the facility for life-saving treatments. The stamp was printed at the security printing press in Hyderabad and has a value of 5 rupees. In the year 2019, Department of Post has released a commemorative postage stamp on historical gates of Indian forts and monuments. Out of the 8 stamps released, 2 stamps was featuring the historic gates in Delhi. The first one was having an image of the Kashmiri gate in Delhi and the second one has the image of Delhi gate in Delhi. The stamps was released on 19th October 2019 and the value of the stamps were 5 rupees and 10 rupees. Two more stamps were released in 2019 to commemorate the Indians in the First World War. The stamps were having an image of Teen Murthy Haifa and India Gate in Delhi. The stamps was released on 20th August 2019. The value of the stamps are 10 rupees. A link to the brochure of Indians in First World War postage stamp series will be provided in the description of this video. Hope you enjoyed this stamp tourism video on Delhi. Do comment under the video your valuable feedback on stamp tourism video series and share this video with young little kids and promote stamp collection. The next stamp tourism video will be about Dal Lake in Srinagar.